So we're happy with that. All right, let's take a look at the free company house. It's raining, of course. Okay, so this is important. We're close enough to the market board that I'm happy and the summoning bell. It's just right around the corner. So we got this one up here. We got our trading dummies, we got our stable, we got our uh, mail. Uh, this guy doesn't like the house. There's Luna. Uh, we need our mender and our merchants and everything. I'm sure that's to come. They, I think they just did... Oh, here they are. They're up here. Sweet. Alright, well then we still have the options right here. Luna is reorganizing the house. Looks good. It's a similar layout to the one that we had in the other place anyway, so. <clears throat> okay, so let's continue with the quest. We turn this in, and then right away it's going to tell us to go to Ulda and pick up a quest over there, too. None of this is any good. take this quest we're gonna do the copper bell mines and then once we're done with that we're gonna clean up my freaking quest log this is bugging me quite a bit right now so we're gonna deal with that in fact one of them is ready to be abandoned because it's only level 11 and there's definitely no point of doing it now what gear am i wearing right now i should be wearing the brand new gear that you get for completing the uh the tutorial the smith and then i got the alamegan earrings and uh the brand new ring as well that you get for that everything else is pretty shit but i've already got people in the free company who have given me just an insane amount of gear look at all these axes speaking of which let's do this oh my god so I have a full set of stuff that's, like, much better than what I had already. And this is all stuff that was made by Luna, including... Oh, no, the axe was made by Cassie. So we got a little bit of everybody in on this. There is... Yeah, I already have it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I appreciate the kind offer, though. But I do already have it. I forgot all about it. That was... Uh, and I have, like... I have gear sets pretty much all the way up until... Like, I think it was 40 or 45 or something. Like, let me... This is a 30 and this is a 40. So... I'm pretty set. Yeah, I totally forgot about that. Thank you for the reminder. I could have gone through that whole dungeon with it. 
Yes, that is Sky. Have you been playing the game again recently, Sky? I remember last time we talked about it, you said you were still sort of burnt out on it. And you were doing a lot of uh, BDO. Alright, so we gotta go up to the horizon, which we can only get through Western Thanaland, so we'll do that. Been back for three months, eh? What was it? Been? Has it been that long since we've talked to me? I guess it has been. How you liking Stormblood? All crafts to 70. Oh, on a different server, though. I think that server is one of the, uh... One of the big ones, isn't it? That's the dream, man. I have I have a dream of one day being able to get everything up to uh, level 70. And I think with this new um, this new schedule that I'm thinking about doing, I think it'll become easier to do that. Because instead of just playing for an hour at a time, I can sit here and play for three hours, and that's almost three times the amount of time, you know? <laughs> but you get what I'm saying. Like, when you sit down and, and play for an actual session, it just feels like you can get a lot more done rather than, okay, I'm recording for this hour, what are my plans, I want to do this and this. And then something else pops up and you're like, oh, you know, I didn't plan for this, I don't really know what to do. So, so in this case, I'm actually just doing things as they come up whenever I kind of want yeah, we're gonna pick up this blue quest just to get it off our off of our thing, and she wants us to go and <coughs> I guess we'll just do that. You come and, and get your house in the Ulda neighborhood. It's pretty cool. Seems a little foggy right now. Wait. No, I'm trying to leave actually. should do it, man. <clears throat> Although I don't know exactly how often you're going to be jumping on to Sky. But as far as I know, there's always room for more people in a free company. Alright, we've got that dealt with. It'll no longer bother us. to Copper Bell Mines, which is over here. <clears throat> I 
<laughs> I don't know if uh, Cassie's gonna like that too much. She's fond of Lalafels. It is a very good name, though. The Lalafell Hunters Society. I feel like there could be, like, a secret group in the actual game called that. You know? If you were to, like, find a specific spot in the world, it's where the Lalafell Hunters Society people hang out. And they're mostly Rogadins, because they can, like, boot them super far. And then there's, like, that one Lalafell who hates that he's a Lalafell and he wants to punt all the other ones. I have a specific strange story about this area right here. Um, a long time ago, like, on Creech, when I first started playing, um, I made Creech an archer. And we got to this part, and we were waiting around this area to get into Copper Bell Mines because we were DPS, so we had to wait. And I was just sitting around here, just like killing things from my hunting log, or I don't remember what I was doing specifically, but um, there was a dude here who saw me just sort of chilling, and he was like, hey, and he added me as a friend, and then he started trying to craft me stuff. And I was playing a female character, so, you know, I don't know if it was one of those things where I was a female and he was like, trying to give me stuff because maybe I was a real girl in real life. It, I still kind of think that that was partly it, but either way, um, he starts like pulling out all this crafting gear and I didn't really know anything about crafting at the time. Oh, by the way, we're going to go ahead and get some of this stuff dealt with as well. Let's do this one just while we're queuing up. Um, and he's like, ah, and he was trying to make me like a bow or something like that, but he kept failing the high quality. And he's like, I swear, I can usually make high quality stuff. And it just really, like, reminded me of, uh, you know, he was, like, trying to perform for me and he wasn't performing up to his own expectations. So he was getting frustrated with himself. And and then, though, the, the funny thing about that is I still see that guy running around to this day. When I'm on Creech, we're still friends. And every once in a while, I will still see him running around in the world. And I don't think he remembers who I am because, you know, the type of person who will add you as a friend when you just haven't even said anything to each other, you know, I'm sure he's probably done that with a ton of different people, but I still see him running around and it always reminds me of that. It's funny. The blind Lala that thinks he's a row. Yeah. Is that a Dave Chappelle reference by any chance? Alright, so we actually have to take the boat here. Wait. And to take the boat, you have to speak to the fairy skipper. Yeah, I know. I'm actually offended at how long this is taking. The other day, I don't know, what was it, like a couple weeks ago, we queued up with a tank, a healer, and another DPS, and it still took us like four minutes to get in. It's not really prime time for Final Fantasy XIV, I guess. And this is where I have lived out my days up until this point. Hey, if you want to come along, Luna, you're more than welcome. I'll back out right now. I've already seen you in here. Can't I invite the party from here? Usually I can.
Yeah, I'll try to invite you in a sec. Yeah, that's... I think I've said this a few times before, but that's one of the, the sad things about Final Fantasy. If you start the game as a... Oh, there we go. Oh, uh, maybe you were already in a party or something. If you start the game as a DPS, which I sh I'm sure a lot of people do. Like, a ton of people would rather come in as a DPS. Because a lot of people just have more fun with that kind of thing. Hey, there we go. Thank you, Luna, for making that nice and quick and easy. Wait, what happened? Did I click on, like... Oh, okay, you weren't ready. I'm sorry. Yeah, the, the queue kills you. Especially because you're forced into doing it for the main story. It's definitely an oversight on, uh... On Square's side, I, I would say. A bit of an oversight, anyway. Alright, let's rock. For whatever reason, it's always Copper Bell Mines whenever I'm doing dungeons with Luna. exactly how much you can really base on that. You know. Because I'm the best marauder that's ever played, yet I have a sprout. So. It's basically not fair to the other sprouts, because they're going to feel like they have to be on my level. One thing I noticed with Stormblood is that they made the Marauder much, much easier. Like, I remember being intimidated by tanking as a Marauder because I actually thought it was kind of tough, but it actually just feels like a thousand times easier. Taking out Fracture, I think, was a, a big plus, in my opinion. Alright, we'll Berserk. Start hitting this guy when he comes out. I have an experience that should have a series made on it, really. In Final Fantasy? I am interested. One of the Road to 60 servers. What what's a Road to 60 server? I mean I, I can I can guess. But I'm like, what exactly is that? Oh, I haven't heard of that before. We don't have to go down there. Okay. 
So you did all of that in four hours? Is that what you're saying? In four hours, wow. How'd you manage... Getting a white mage to 31 alone in four hours. I don't even think I could do that. Do you just like get to 15 real quick and then just spam dungeons? We need this, by the way. get double experience. I didn't know they had servers like that. Is that like a like a PR server or a test server? Like I know in, in WoW they had servers that were kind of like that, but they were all like test servers. So none of it was actually official. They're new servers. Wow, okay. I didn't even know that existed. <clears throat> Should look into that maybe. That sounds like a perfect idea for leveling an alt on. Because it's like you've already had the experience, so you don't necessarily need the grind. Yeah, see this person, he knows where, what he's doing. <clears throat> Maybe he just did this dungeon a few times, but he knew that was there. You get double experience from high quality turn-in and they double the double. Yeah, that sounds wonderful. the economy is like on the market board for something like that when like is it the same or like the numbers are probably all over the place because now all of a sudden it's not so tough to to get certain things although maybe i'm just maybe i'm not thinking about that right i don't know it seems like the market board would be all out of whack all right we'll use berserk on this guy we can maim him as well as well. <laughs> Holy shit. So they just give you a million gil as well? Sounds like fun though. If only I wasn't already invested in this guy.
one down here. And is it only up to 60? Like, can you go to level 70 with it, or, or what? gear that I think I just got from that chest that I normally skip. Okay, I see. I, okay, so do you think that that probably is built just to get people up to the the story, then, of Stormblood? It seems like that's a, a perfect reason for it. I just use Berserk even though I don't need it. Hopefully I don't kill this blasting guy. Wait, is he? Oh. Come here. Alright, should be good. Yeah. Well, the jump potions are, like, everyone's gonna... Like, there's always gonna be somebody who will buy a jump potion, you know? So I can't really fault them so much for that, but that is a very good alternate idea. And it's kind of neat that they did both. Yeah, I'm totally with you on that, though. That's really cool. And even though it's on EU, like, I can still play on EU. Dragoon was going to put the stuff in. I guess not. Yeah, I see. I'm interested in trying that. The only thing is, like, I already have this character, and then I already have another character that I play when I'm not streaming. So it's like restarting again is just a little bit too much for me right now, even though I tend to be an altaholic. I like to make a lot of ults. And now that I know that it exists, next time I feel like making a new character, I'll definitely do it. Yeah, I've, <laughs> I know you have a lot of characters. Some other people in the free company have a bunch of characters as well. Right, we'll come grab this 
dude. And this is Eric. And we'll name this guy as well, because he's a bit bigger. We should hopefully actually be able to get full use out of it. Two retainers can be a handful, eh? You know what I'm saying? Oops, I should have greeted that, but I forgot. Hey, can one of you guys show me where the setting is to automatically skip cutscenes? I know it's in here somewhere, but I, I can't find it. I don't want to spend the time looking for it right now because we're about to do a boss, but. If you could tell me where that is, then I would be eternally grateful, because I will just set that setting right now. Alright, this is a boss, so we're going to meme. Okay, cool. Thanks, Luna. I tried to look for it, but... To be fair, it's not like I tried all that hard. I just sort of tried. And I was like, ah, screw it, I can't find it. But I know it exists somewhere. So for this boss, it's very simple. You just focus him. Ignore everything else. There's a loot setting in character that lets you pull the loot to inventory. If the loot is in your inventory, though... What's going on here? Okay, sorry. If the loot's in your inventory, doesn't that mean that when you use recommended gear, it won't grab it? Because the recommended gear will only grab it from your armory chest? Am I wrong in that? Thank you for the run, Luna. Oh, we'll go out and do some more regular stuff. Yeah, recommended gear only pulls from your armory chest. But for steel farming, I'd rather move the gear back to the armory. Uh, okay, it's in character configuration. UI, I think it's somewhere in here. I might be wrong. So if it's not in character, then it must be in system. Character settings, control settings, fourth heading. Oh, so it is character, okay. Ah, here we go. Under general. Yeah, you're right. There it is.
Sweet. Thank you very much, Luna. I knew it was there somewhere, but it just...